Well, good morning. Out here for my morning walk. And uh, it's really nice right now. It's down in the 40s. Temperature-wise, Fahrenheit. So nice, cool morning here in late June. It's very nice. I like it when it's like this. I don't like it when it's in the 80s and 90s out. That gets too hot. But um, <laughs> I wanted to do a, a video here addressing a very important subject. Um, a subject, the subject of hate crimes. And I am the victim of a hate crime. And all Bible-believing Christians have been victims of hate crimes here this month. Um, you see, they have the pride rallies and whatever else. And those pride rallies, uh, they openly mock our beliefs as Christians. They make fun of us. They put us down. Um, they take the standards of the scriptures, which have been there for a very long time, for thousands of years, and they say, those aren't any good anymore. Um, you have to change. We have to force you to change. That's hate crime. Uh, of course, uh, you know, they'll never admit to that. We're the only ones capable of, of hate crimes because if we speak against their system, then they can censor us and they can delete our videos and whatever else, but th that they can put up all the videos they want attacking us. A little bit of hypocrisy there. Um, but my question to anybody out there, if you're uh, what the Bible calls a sodomite, um, is what is the uh, agenda of the pride movement? Where do you hope to go with this system that you believe in? Um, back in the 1960s, they wanted to come out of the closet. Two consenting adults, we want to be accepted. We don't want to be criminalized for our actions and our activities and whatever else. Okay, whatever. But then since then, now they're forcing it to be taught in public schools. They are forcing it to be painted on the roads, which is very strange. Why you would want your flag, your symbol, um, painted on the roads where it will be driven on. I wouldn't want to see an American flag driven over. Uh, so it's kind of a strange thing why they would do that. But uh, again, we have this, this issue of beliefs that are forced on other people. And I did a study over on Rumble comparing many similarities between the Nazi movement <clears throat> and the Pride movement. And there are definite similarities. The three being, number one, they fly their flags and they march in the streets, forcing everybody to be okay with them. Uh, you're forced, it's a military agenda where you're forced to uh, accept it and tolerate it. Number two, they indoctrinate the youth. The Nazis had the Hitler Jugend, the Nazi youth, and um, they indoctrinated children. And um, I see the same thing within the pride movement. And you say, but this is an insult because the Nazis were against, you know, the sodomy and whatever else. Yes, they were. Um, but the tactics that they're using are the same, the same heavy-handed tactics. And of course, the Nazis also destroyed their political opposition. That's what they did. Well, we're seeing the same thing with the sodomite stuff. Um, if there's one watching and they get mad enough, they'll probably try to say that this is hate speech or something else, and it's not hate speech. I'm just asking questions. I'm just saying, how is it right for one group to rise up and say, we have to be accepted, our lifestyle has to be accepted, but by accepting your lifestyle, you tear down mine. How does that work? Um, free people can do things, um, you know, consenting adults and whatever else, what they do between themselves is, is their business. I really don't care. I'm not going to, I'm not for a <clears throat> tyrannical system where you go into people's homes and force them to do certain things and whatever else. I think that that's wrong. Um, but out in public, there needs to be uh, the rule of law to maintain a safe place for everyone. And the rule of law includes laws against public nudity, indecent exposure, corruption of minors. I mean, I would think that those are good things. But see, again, you get some of these pride rallies. They're doing all sorts of perverse things in front of children. Little children, they say, oh, we're just expressing ourselves. Well, then if I would come in or some 
man, you know, preacher type of guy would come in and say, um, we're going to tell you about heaven and hell and say if you don't repent of your sins and you don't put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll burn in hell for all of eternity. Oh, that's a hate crime now. Uh, no, it's what the Bible teaches. So, you know, what's good, good for the goose is good for the gander, as the old saying goes. Um, how is it hate crime for a Christian to say what's in the Bible, but it's not a hate crime for uh, sodomites to come and, you know, just openly disobey the law. Uh, come around and say that they're going to do public nudity, and, that, and it's going on like this. And I'm seeing, the really sick part is, I'm seeing police officers stand up for it. Um, it it's violating multiple laws within the criminal code. What are you doing to protect the people? What are you doing to protect the innocent? Well, you know, we had a meeting the other day on tolerance and diversity, and uh, because some people within the city council said that we should take a more lenient stand towards this pride movement stuff, then I guess we have to. You understand, I'm sure. Just doing my job. That's all that I can do, and if you're going to come and oppose this, then we'll just not speak to you and, you know, whatever. I mean, something has to change. But uh, getting back to what I was saying earlier, my study that I did, it's over on Rumble. I will provide the links down below in the description box and in the top pinned comment. I'll put it there as well. But um, this study that I did, it was very interesting to see that all throughout the Old Testament, whenever they would drive out the Sodomites out of the land, didn't say just kill them, round them up and kill them. It said that they drove them out. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting thing. But whenever they would drive out the Sodomites, they would actually prosper. The one king allowed the Sodomites. He didn't kick them out, and they had the high places and things where they were worshiping idols. And the Lord allowed a king, a foreign king, to come and take away the gold and silver out of the treasuries. Hmm. And then, I think it was Asa came in, King Asa, and, uh, don't quote me on that, I can't, I'm trying to think here, but I think it was King Asa, he came in and uh, drove the Sodomites out of the land. And um, it was, his heart was right before the Lord. He drove the Sodomites out and the gold and silver came back. Huh, kind of an interesting thing there. You know, 1963, you have this uh, Martha's Vineyard and all the other stuff that's going on down there, the um, pro-Sodomite movement. And uh, 1964 was the last year for silver. Hmm. 1965, they started to make the coins, the, the uh, quarter and the dime, they weren't made out of silver anymore. The silver left. 1971, America was taken off the, the dollar was taken off the gold standard. Huh. Then there was a third king that, that uh, continued to remove the rest of the sodomites out of the land. He pushed them out of the land and they prospered again. Hmm. Interesting, huh? So you can go over there and you can check out that video. But, uh, I guess I, I could say a whole lot more on this subject because it's something I think about quite a bit, but I'll let it go for now. But uh, this sodomite agenda, you know, again, a lot of Christians just kind of stood down and said, hey, whatever, you know, um, it'll go away eventually or whatever. It's just people trying to do their thing. And But it's been turned, it's been militarized now. And it's been turned into something that could eventually um, come after all of us and imprison Christians because it is actually hate crime, hate crime against Bible-believing Christians. It's a disgusting agenda. And I know that there are actually sodomites that aren't even for the pride movement. They say it's wrong. So something has to be done. Um, something needs to be done here in America to bring back law and order, which will be my next video. But that'll be it for this one. Check out the sermon on Rumble, my Rumble page. There's a lot of really good studies over there that were deleted off of YouTube. A huge amount of things over there. I know a lot of people are brand new coming along to watch the videos on this channel. There's a whole lot more over on Rumble that I'm not able to say here. And I'll probably start to post some more things over there uh, too. So 
um, that will be it. Thank you very much for watching.